Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today is a special day because we just made a hundred tips in a row. So that's a hundred weeks in a row sharing a tip every week with you guys on the community, Dynamics 365, Power Automate, Power Apps, CDS, anything that has to do with the Power Platform. So thank you so much for being a subscriber if you already did that. If not, please go ahead and hit that button. But today, I wanted to share potentially a bombshell tip. I've been telling you guys through the podcast and through other tips before and many, many videos that we have shared in this channel that if you hadn't upgraded to the unified interface, that you should start immediately. Now, Microsoft has mentioned that they will be deprecating the classic interface, the old interface, in favor of the unified interface going forward. Microsoft shared that before, and they mentioned that October 2020 would be the date when it would be officially deprecated. This doesn't mean that that will be the date your environment will be upgraded to the unified interface. And the problem is, is that as of now, that upgrade is going to happen whether you like it or not. And you might not be aware when your environment is gonna get upgraded. So today, in today's tip, I wanted to share a tip that was published earlier today by Jared Johnson from Magnetism um, out in New Zealand, a partner in New Zealand. And Jared did such a good job sharing this information with the community. I just wanted to, again, share it with you guys, but he deserves all the credit for finding this information. You might be surprised of what you will find on your environment. So once again, if you're in Dynamics 365 online, this is super important for you. And if you're a solution architect or a functional consultant, this is super important for your customers, especially if you're working in projects today and you're planning to go live within the next few months. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into a browser, Google Chrome, whatever it is, and I want you to go into run1.powerappsportals.com. That will open the unified interface scheduling portal. Within the unified interface scheduling portal, you'll see at the top that you have my environment. So go ahead and click on that. Your environments will be listed for that particular tenant. So in my case, you can see that I have three environments within our tenant at Elevate Solutions. Now notice that my production environment, my Elevate Solutions instance, has been scheduled to be upgraded on March 13th of 2020. So even though Microsoft said that they are not gonna force anyone, they're not gonna deprecate the classic interface until October, you can see that my instance is going to be upgraded three months from now. So if I didn't do anything to prepare for this launch, I would be in big trouble, especially if my instance was heavily customized. So look at your environment, look at your date and see if you're comfortable with that. Microsoft has given us another option though. Notice that if you click on your environment, you will have the ability to submit an exception request. Now the problem with exception requests is that you can only submit them for 30 days after the day that you have been scheduled. And as you can see, there's a note that says that you could submit another one in order to extend it for even one more month after that. So you have 60 days after the date that you have been scheduled. And I've seen some customers and some people posting online that their date is coming as early as January. So your instance could be getting upgraded as soon as a month from now, depending on when you're watching this video. So it's time to scramble. It's time to go and find out when your instance will be upgraded. If you're submitting an exception request, notice that you can pick another date, but I don't think you'll be able to just pick, you know, December 31st of 2020, for example. There will be a push to migrate everyone into the unified interface. So it's important that you get on top of this. It's important that you start working on this. It was important you started working on this back in April or whenever it was that we started talking about this, but now it's more important than ever. So once again, I hope you're enjoying these tips. 100 tips done for now. Hopefully we'll be looking at 100 more. Once again, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that and share this tip with everyone you know that's using Dynamics because it's important that everyone knows when they're getting upgraded to the unified interface so they can better prepare for the transition, train their users, and make sure they don't lose any functionality in the process. We'll see you next week for another tip.